Hello Tikis. In this tutorial, we will learn how to share the desktop flows across the team or organization by using Power Automate. To share our desktop flows as a prerequisite, we required Microsoft account or worker school account with upgraded premium account. Without upgrading to premium account, it is not possible to share the desktop flows. All right. Now, if you see on my screen, I'm logged in into Power Automate desktop with my worker school account with upgraded premium account. There you can see I'm having the desktop flows as LinkedIn, Facebook and test. These are the three desktop flows which I have created. Now, if you observe over here, there's no possibility to share these desktop flows across the organization or team. Now we'll see the options over here. Now, if you say I'm going to select any desktop flow there, you can see I'm going to select more actions over here. There you can see I can edit it. I can rename it or I can delete the desktop flows, but there's no option over here to share the desktop flow across the organization or with the team members. Then in that case, how can we go ahead and share our desktop flows, which we have created with our team members? There we need to switch to Power Automate. Let me switch to flow.microsoft.com, which is the Power Automate cloud platform. I have logged in with my credentials into this portal. Now, if you're going for my flows over here, let's click on that. There you can see I'm having the options over here, cloud flows, desktop flows, business process flows shared with me. Now we are going to share our desktop flows. So in that case, we are going to select desktop flows option. Now, if you observe over here, what are the desktop flows we have created by using Power Automate desktop tool, all the flows are available under the desktop flows tab. There you can see I'm having LinkedIn, Facebook and test. Now I want to share this desktop flows with my colleague or with my team members or across my organization. How can I go ahead and do that? Now I'm going to select any one of the desktop flow and there you can see the option over here as share. Let's click on that. Now I'm going to give my colleague email ID over here as Rida and then I'm going to select her email ID over here which is available for worker school account. Now you can see over here, give access. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the access over here as co-owner or user. Now, if you observe these two options over here as a user, she can run our flow, but she cannot do any changes on the top of that flow. If I'm going to select co-owner, then in that case, she can edit, she can delete, she can see the history and she can add the actions for the particular desktop flow. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the access as co-owner. And then before I'm going to click on share, let me show you the desktop flows, which she is having right now. All right. On my right hand side, I have logged in in cognitive mode where I have logged in with her credentials. Okay. And after that, if you see, I'm in my flows and after that I'm going to click on desktop flows tab over here. Now over here, if you observe, I don't have any flows in her account. Now what I'm going to do on the left hand side is my account where I'm going to click on share. And after that, I'm going to give her details over here as Rida Tobusam. And then I'm going to give the access to her as co-owner. And then I'm going to click on share. Now, if you see over here, your flow has shared successfully. Now on my right hand side, I don't have any desktop flows. Let me refresh her account. Now, if you see over here, whatever the desktop flow I have shared, that flow has been shared with her. And then you can see over here inside the desktop flows, you can see the same LinkedIn desktop flow, which I have just shared. And now you can see over here the details. You have modified 10 minutes before and you can see this modified also that you can see the details. And now from here onwards, you can go ahead and you can edit the desktop flows from here. Now, if you want to edit it, you can just click on the edit. And then you are going to launch Power Automate desktop tool. 
and then you are going to switch to power automate desktop now from here what i can do i can make the changes of the desktop flows like in a such a way if i want to add any actions in that case i will go ahead and i will make the changes in the particular desktop flow and then i can go ahead and i can save it all right now if you observe over here 35 seconds ago i have modified this linkedin desktop flow with the name of linkedin desktop flow so that you can observe over here 35 seconds ago it has been modified over here at the same time if you see on my left hand side which i have used my credentials there you can see 10 minutes before that desktop flow has been modified all right along with that i have received a question from the students is it possible to share the desktop flows outside the organization i will say the answer as no let me show you practically before saying that answer now i'm going to share the same linkedin desktop flow let's click on share and there i'm going to give my personal email id which is outside of the organization email id i'm just going to give it as basha.amir86 at the rate of live.com now if you see over here it is not allowing to share the particular desktop flow outside the organization there this has been disabled until unless if you are going to provide the email id which is available inside the organization in that case only you can go ahead you can share the desktop flows all right i hope you understand how to share the desktop flows as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day